Welcome to this ninth tutorial on 885 programming and the topic of today is stack in 885. So this is a stack as we already know a stack of plates is shown here and from it we can see that if we keep on putting more and more plates it will grow in height and when we want to access plates we have to access the plate that we have kept at the last means the plate that is on the topmost side. So similarly in 885 the stack is implemented as last in first out list means whatever is put at the last will be accessed first. So this is a simple program to understand that and top of stack as in this figure as in this picture is shown the top of stack is a location which will be stored in stack pointer SP is called a stack pointer here and stack starts from FFFF location means this location I have already set this value such that FFFF is easily visible you can also do that by going to the memory tab and this is where the top of stack is placed now whatever will be entered means as the plates are kept here one over the other so whatever will be entered it will be kept like this then after like this and so on so stack starts from the bottom and we can easily see that this stack is also sharing the same memory that is shared by programs and the data that we keep so stack is also there in the same memory so now uh, knowing this this is a simple program to understand the stack and one more point to note here is that instead of 8 bits stack is of 16 bits means although the memory is 8 bit memory means every every entry in this memory is of 8 bits it can store a data of 8 bits but stack will be consuming two locations at once means this FFFF is the top of stack now if we will put some into the, something into the stack it will be treated as a 16 bit entry and it will consume these two locations for one entry then for next entry it will be consuming these two locations so if we want to put something onto the stack we have to use a 16 bit register but every register as we have seen here is A, B, C, D, E, H, L then these are of 8 bits individually but B, C, D, E and H, L these pairs are of 16 bits so if we want to put something onto the stack we should put our data into either B, C register or D, E register or H, L register they can be used interchangeably so in this program I have kept some data into D, E register as you can see through MVI commands MVI is for moving the immediate data into D moving the immediate data into E and similarly in H, L registers so I will be putting these onto the stack by using the command push D now push D will not put the contents of D only to the stack it will put the contents of D E register onto the stack so the interpretation of push D command by this 885 simulator or 885 in general is such that it will push the contents of D E register into the stack and if you will specify push H it will be pushing the contents of H L register similarly for B it will be pushing the contents of B C we cannot use push A because that will be of 8 bits only so similar is the case with pop command I have put two uh, two entries in the stack that is 0508 and 0302 and for popping out I can take it in either of these registers BC register DE register or HL register so since my D register and HL register are busy I have used BC register to pop out the content because popping will be done in the same way 16 bit content will be retrieved so for that purposes I have used this B I could have used H also but then again this will override whatever was there in L I could use D also but then again it will override whatever was there in this D register so for safe side I have used B register now let us see the execution of this program step by step by pressing the F5 to execute it step by step so in the first case F5 D is filled with 5 E is filled with 5 then I am pressing F5 this push D command will be executed and you will be able to see that the data will be entered at these two locations you can see that the data has been entered as 5 and 8 now the important point to note here is that since D is the higher order register and E is the lower register so D will be entered first means our stack pointer was here and <coughs> when we fill the stack the contents of D's are placed onto this location and then the contents of E are placed into that location so in this way now our stack pointer is at this location and uh, you can see it from this also SP is FF FD so this is FF FD so our stack pointer is at this location now I am filling this HL register with 03 and 02 which is filled 
and <laughs> now we will push the contents of HL register onto this stack. So you can see that it will be filled step by step and this is filled. Now the stack pointer is at FFFB. So this is again at FFFB after which we can fill the stack again and the contents are placed in the order that, as we have discussed. Now <coughs> we want to pop the contents of stack into BC register pair. So for that since the last entry is this 3 2 so it will be retrieved in that order only means uh, since we are retrieving uh, data from stack so it will be retrieved of 16 bits and those 16 bits will be kept into this BC register and this 2 which is which comes first will be kept in the lower order register and it will be kept in the higher order register. So pop operation, you can see that 3 and 2 are kept in the same order in this register. So this is about stack and halt operation is also executed. Now one thing is, one could argue that why should I st uh, start my stack from this location FFFF. If I want to use some general location, for example, uh, this location I have already used for my data and I now want to use stack in my program. So for that what can I do? So for that there is a simple command which is called as SPHL. So I have made another program, you can see it. Now this is another program. So in that I have done the same thing, which this code is same as the previous program, but initially I have initialized this stack pointer by using this command SPHL. Now SPHL what it does is if you put something into HL, and you want to transfer it into the stack pointer. Stack pointer cannot be accessed uh, just like this. So if you want to transfer the contents of HL into this SP, then you can use this SPHL command. It will transfer the contents from HL to SP. So I have initialized HL with some values. Uh, suppose I want to keep uh, things at 000B as the initial stack pointer. So I have initialized it with that. And then I have done the same thing as in the previous case and then I have executed this program. So after the execution of this program, this is the status of registers and the memory. So you can see that 0508 and 0302. This is 5, 8, 3 and 2. So initially the stack pointer was at 000B. So this 000B location, there was this stack pointer. And when the filling start, it took two locations here and two locations here. So it's not necessary that stack should always start from the bottom. If you have problems in that, then you can also do it as per the choice of your address. So this is about the stack and how stack is used in 8085. Keep watching our channel. We will be doing more videos on 8085 and subscribe.